Hey guys, uh, welcome to a math lesson. And in this math lesson, what we're going to be able to do is answer some story problems. And the problem with these story problems is that the unknown, the I don't know what you're trying to find out, could be at the beginning, it could be at the middle, or it could be at the end. So just like when we read a story and the author introduces the characters and the settings at the beginning, and then the author uh, talks about the problem, makes the story more interesting in the middle, and then towards the end, that's when the problem is solved after the characters take steps to resolve the problem. So let's go up to this problem. And as we read this, I want you to make a movie in your brain. This will help you to set up your equation correctly. So Carter has 35 paintbrushes, but guys, he wants more. So he goes to an amazing art store. When he gets home, he has 67 brushes. So my question for you is how many brushes did he buy? How many brushes did he buy? So let's think about what we know. Let me try to use this, um, this pen tool. Turn it on just a second. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and select green. And what I want to do is circle my information at the beginning of the story. So I know that he has 35 paintbrushes at the beginning. So that's going to be my first number in my equation, 35. But he wants more. So he goes to a store. So I'm picturing him maybe going to the store with his family, getting some really cool paintbrushes, and then, you know, maybe having mom help him out, or he has had some chores and he saved up some money maybe. Anyway, so he goes to the store, and then finally he gets home and he checks the bag, and now all together with the 35, he has 67. But think about what happened in the middle of the story. I really didn't tell you how many he bought at the amazing art store. So that's really where my I don't know is going to go, right there, okay? But we also know that he's buying more. So I'm gonna go back to green, and what I'm going to do is add an addition sign. So now we have the beginning filled in, 35. The middle, we don't know how many he bought at the amazing art store, but we do know when he gets home, he has 67 brushes all together. So I'm going to go back to red. This right here, all together, is going to be at the end of the story. 67. So look at that. I already filled in my equation, and that's the first step in my um, in my sentence. Uh, sorry, in my math story problem rubric. So let's keep going. What I want to do next is select the tool. So I'm going to select place value to do this and to uh, figure out the correct answer. So I'm going to make sure that I have my brush tool. I'm going to select a different color. And I'm going to set up my tens and ones. Oh, tens and ones chart. It's a little messy. But let's see if we can go ahead and label this. Here's the tens place where all the tens live. And here's the ones place where all the ones live. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with 35. We'll go back to the green color. And I'm going to understand and think that three and the five, that's three sticks of 10 and five ones, right? Because if I count that out, that's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So let me go ahead and draw that on my tens and ones chart. So I'm going to go down here. I have a stick of 10. I have another stick of 10. Another stick of 10. And five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. <clears throat> what I want to do is add more, right? He's at the store buying more paintbrushes. So we want to add more. Hmm. And I know that I want to end up with 67. So I'm going to go back to the yellow color. And I'm thinking to myself, I can probably add a 10. And I can probably add another 10. Um, and I'm not going to get a number that's larger than 67. We don't want to go over this number 67. So let me go ahead and add a couple of tens, and then let's just count how much we have all together. So this is a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 
51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Okay, so 55. I'm going to add another stick of 10. Now let's go ahead and count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Let me add another one. Ah, 66. Let me add another one. 60. Seven. Interesting. We go to my red color. Now I know that this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the sum. This is the total. So in red, I'm just going to select, try to do this carefully, uh, select everything. And now I'm going to count it all together to make sure that I have 67, right? Just double check myself. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Check. Awesome. Now, I have to figure out the correct answer. So I'm just going to count <clears throat> the ones that I added. Excuse me. I'm going to count the tens and the ones that I added in the middle of the story. All right. So we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So that unknown oh let's go back that unknown just a second right here equals 32 32 what you would then go ahead and also write 32 brushes because that is also part of our story problem rubric okay so this gets a little confusing because the Unknown is in the middle, but as long as we still use our tens and ones place value as a tool, we will be just fine. So let's go ahead and go to this problem right here. Zamaya has 45 shoes, but she wants to buy more. She goes to the best shoe store in town. When she gets home, she has 68 shoes total. How many shoes did she buy? Hmm. So let's make a movie in our brain first so that we know where to put the different numbers in our number sentence in the equation. <clears throat> so Zamaya has 45 shoes. She wants to buy more. So I'm thinking that that number is at, at the beginning. So let's do that. And I'll turn green. Hold on just a second. We'll deal with it. 45 at the beginning. We're going to circle that in. Whoa, I'm going to circle that in green. Okay. And then, let's see. She goes to the best shoe store in town. What does she do? She buys some more. Do I tell you? No. All right. So this is sort of what I want you guys to be thinking in your brain, sort of to yourself as you fill out these equations. Well, this is the I don't know because in the middle of the story, uh, there was no information. But at the end of the story, we do have some more information. Look at that. She has 68 shoes total all together. So that includes her old shoes and her new brand new shoes. So we have 68 and now we have our <clears throat> now we have our number sentence set up 45 plus I don't know equals 68. Let me go ahead and quickly throw a tens and ones chart down. There we go. Oops. Let's undo that. We have our tens and we have our ones. So by now we know what that means. Let me throw down 45 on the tens and ones chart. So that means that we have four sticks of 10, 10, oh, 20, 30, 40, and we have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So all together we have 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay. So we're good with that. We know how to do that by now, but this is where it gets tricky. We have to understand that we want all together 68. So let me show you what that looks like all together on the tens and ones chart is, excuse me, is everything with, ooh, is everything within this uh, red sort of triangle. So I'm going to add more until I get the 68. So let's do that. Let me throw down a couple of tens. Remember, these are still inside the total box. So it's okay that we're adding more to the tens and ones chart. Let's go ahead and count how many, <clears throat> how many we have now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 
Hmm, I need to get to 68. So let's add another one. 66, 67, 68. Awesome, that's the number that I wanted to get to. Every single 10 and one in this rectangle, in this box, added together equals 68. How many did Zemai buy in the middle of the story? Well, let's go here. We got a 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Interesting. Okay. So our unknown equals 23. And then I would write on my test or on my assignment, 23 shoes to get that point in the, uh, in the story problem rubric. So I hope that makes more sense. I know these are tricky. What I'm going to do is leave you guys with this, and you can pause it and work on it. Uh, I like it. Let's see. It says Austin has 46 remote-controlled cars. He has an army of cars. He wants to. He wants more to rule over the car kingdom. He goes to the shop and buys some more. When he gets home, he has 78 cars. How many did he buy at the shop? So that's what I want you to figure out. Try to use. Uh, try to use place value in tens and ones. Good luck, and thank you for listening.